Judd Ashman from the Gaithersburg City Council. I'm supporting Cheryl Kagan because I think given the, uh, the economy and the tight budgets and, and um, what's going on in Annapolis, I think we need something a little more than what we've had. We need, we need a staunch advocate. We need a real go-getter up there. And I think Cheryl Kagan would, would really fit that bill and serve District 17 well. Cool. I have the privilege of serving on the council in the great city of Gaithersburg. In a group uh, of great friends and family and volunteers of, of Cheryl's, um, I hardly deserve the honor of introducing her, but, but uh, I appreciate your indulgence in letting me do so. Um, America loves stories about people who uh, work hard and achieve something. Uh, you add formidable odds and um, a setback, uh, one or two or three setbacks and, and um, perseverance, and what you have are the ingredients, the, the formula for every great American success story. And uh, we love that stuff. We love, to, we love to watch it in our movies. We love to read about it in our books, in our newspapers. Uh, we love to see it, see it embodied in our, in our heroes. And, and why? It's because we, we, we love to be inspired. We, uh, we love to see ourselves in it. We, we uh, love to be reminded about what we can achieve uh, when, we, when we work hard enough. And if you uh, if, if, like me, you look at this tonight, this, this looks a lot to me like an early chapter in the Cheryl Kagan Great American Success Story. <laughs> now, I love those stories too, but I have to be honest with you. Back, way back when at the beginning, I was not inclined to be a supporter of Cheryl Kagan's. <laughs> I, knew, I, I kind of figured. I kind of figured I'd get that response. Um, it's not that I, I didn't like Cheryl. I liked her fine. It, but the thing is, I, I also like Jenny Forehand, and I still like Jenny Forehand. And without a great deal of consideration, um, I was I was satisfied with the service, with the representation that we were getting in Annapolis. Um, basically, you get used to what you got, and you have to get used to. It. You have to make do with it. And also, there, there is, let's face it, there's a political calculation. Um, Jenny has some very powerful friends in Annapolis, and as someone who's uh, entrusted with the sort of the well-being of the city of Gaithersburg, how wise would it be to, to uh, potentially alienate those people? But it comes down, when it, you know, when it comes down to it, it's about more than a calculation, and I'll tell you why. Over the last year and more, I've watched Cheryl Kagan work as hard or harder than anybody I've ever seen. I watched her do the kind of homework and ask the kind of questions that, frankly, we've grown uh, not to expect from our public officials. Uh, Cheryl's been in touch with me constantly about the city of Gaithersburg, delving into issues, um, finding out about news stories, trying to learn more about the history of neighborhoods from, um, from police ride-alongs to city tours to attendance at mayor and council meetings. I've watched Cheryl Kagan invest her smarts and her, um, her experience and her energy and her passion into everything she's done. And at a certain point, I realized that the, uh, the ice of cynicism in, that had built up in me over the years from witnessing uh, campaigns for, for many years uh, had started to thaw, and I started to believe. Now, <laughs> I wasn't expecting that one. 